Whenever people figure out what I do and going live comes up in conversation, people kind of freak out and they're like, I can't imagine doing, doing that, that's crazy. Well, obviously on social media, I share the best highlights, but sometimes things don't always go as planned. Sometimes they can look like this. Yes, Shayna. Well, just an update on what's going on in Marshalltown. We've been following the storm coverage all day, but what is new is that tonight, starting at 9 o'clock, there is a curfew here in Marshalltown, and it seems like what you're seeing right now behind me, three former homes completely leveled, devastated. But other times, they are cringeworthy. An advantage of out there. Shayna. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep. So there I was supposed to pitch to Rhea, but accidentally I pitched to Shayna and I was slightly mortified. You get past the fear of failure with live shots. They can be really fun and a great interactive way to bring your viewer into the story and show them something they wouldn't see otherwise. They can be lighthearted, which frankly kind of are my favorite to do. All right, and Stacy, yes. I'm committed to the trend. I want you to <laughs> check out my socks. I'm calling this look kosher chic. I don't know how you feel about it. I don't know if you want to jump on it, but writers, everyone here, pickle juice. I swear that is the thing, Rag Bright 2018. All right, uh, it's good to have those kinds of tips. Lauren. I know you'll be using it later. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look, they can also be informative. Steve and Stacy, it's the rain, rain, rain that won't seem to go away and it's all accumulating here. You can see it on the banks of the Sailorville Dam spillway. We wanted to compare those water levels, as you said, what we're seeing right now as compared to back in June. You can see that right here on this white line, and it's even more pronounced if you move your eye on over across the water there. Sometimes they can be really intense. Two-story buildings, you can see, I didn't know if you got a good shot of it earlier, but if we move over here, you can see how this one has just caved in. There's one time I ended up having to go live three times within a half hour in the middle of this crazy storm we weren't expecting to get caught in. Out here, uh, just outside of Martinsdale, I, I'm honestly a little bit <laughs> startled right now because come see this scene right outside. It is remarkable. Since our last live hit, it has developed into this. And you're talking about storm damage in Walnut. Goodness. The winds were so strong, they knocked our photographer over. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> But since people always ask me questions about this, I thought it might be fun to explain to people how live shots actually work. So it all starts back in the control room with our five o'clock producer, Shelby, for example, and then there's Ken over there, he's our director. They coordinate and make everything out in the field go and look as smooth as possible. So how can they in the studio talk to me out in the field? Well, it's using, wait for it, wait for it, one of these. <laughs> it's called an IFB and it fits into my ear. And I hook this up to a cell phone by calling a certain number. Wherever I am out in the field, I can actually communicate with them back in the studio. So by pressing a button, Shelby can tell me what to prepare for, mic check, delay check. So she'll tell me thumbs up on go. So she'll say, Go. And I'll give a thumbs up. But if it takes me more than four seconds to give her that thumbs up, there is a delay. So she'll end up yelling, go to me in my ear to make sure I'm actually on time and not just standing like this. Tickets for tonight's drawing have already been sold. Well, 280 million have been sold so far, and I think I have the lucky one right here in my hand. So keep in mind, sometimes live shots look better than others, but by practice, you eventually will hopefully, you can make it perfect. And it's a fun challenge to be able to do. So now you know how to do a live shot, and maybe one day you can just be a news reporter and go do it for yourself. <laughs> I don't know if I recommend that, but it's fun. Bye, guys. Bailey helped with this video. She shot it. Thanks, Bailey. You're awesome. Bailey. Ah.